Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Q-based tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about EQ and how to use it and some of the features that you can find in Cubase. So in order to start, very, very easy if you want to find the EQ, you're going to go to the edit channel settings, which is over here on the audio that you want to work with. You'll press the E and there we go. Here is your EQ in Cubase. Now, uh, we're going to be working with a piano. So I just want you guys to hear it and you can see what's going on in the EQ. Very easy. Now you can see what is going on. On the top right, you're going to find a little cogwheel. This is your equalizer settings. You're going to tap that and then here you're going to find all your settings within the EQ. On the top, which this is usually turned on, it's going to look like this. And here at the bottom, you're going to find your four bands on your EQ. If you want to hide it, you'll just tap again and you can just see now your equalizer waveform without the bands. If you want to see them, which is what is standard in Cubase, it's going to look like this. Then we're going to show your pre-curve. If you click that, you're going to see now it's going to be highlighted. Sorry, I'll turn it off. There we go. And there's a pre-curve turn on. And if you wanted to hold the pre-curve so you can see what is going on, you'll tap that. And then once it stops, you're going to see exactly what the signal it left with. So you've got the options that you can work with over there. If you want to clear the curve, you'll just tap the button over here to reset it. Very easy. Okay, now let's talk a bit about the bands. Okay, you've got a four band equalizer here. In order to start using it, you can actually just tap and it will automatically add a band for you. So the first tap will be number one, tap again, it'll be number two and three and four, however you like. If you want to turn each of them off, here you'll find your off buttons over here so we can turn them off. For now, let's focus on just a single band. So again, we'll tap this for on and here is our first band. On the right side of the off switch, you're going to find your EQ band type. So here you get your low shelf filter, high pass, high pass two, paramic, low shelf, and so on and so forth. So clicking on each will actually change the shape of your filter, as you can see. Then over here, you've got your EQ gain. Here we have your frequencies, so it'll move left and right. And then here is going to be the actual curve to get a good idea what you're working with. Let's keep it like that. And this is going to basically narrow or widen your band according to how you want. And again, you can move it up and down however you feel like. The same applies with the second, third, and fourth band. Obviously, the fourth has got a nice high shelf filter, as you can see. And that is basically it, and that's how you're going to use your EQ. Another very, very, very cool feature in uh, Cubase with regards to EQ is that you can actually add a second sound, and then you'll actually see in the EQ equalizer the analysis of both sounds playing together. So in this case, we have a piano playing, and let's say we want to bring in, uh, we have a bass, and we want to see what... Uh, frequencies both of them are playing at at the same time to see perhaps maybe we've got some clashing going on. So what you're going to do is you will basically over here, you'll click the option down here and then you're going to find the actual track. In this case, it is the synth that I have over here, which is this one. And once I have it, even though it is muted, I can see the orange part is the sound of that synth. So I'm going to play them together now. There we go. So now you can actually see both of them playing together and we can see which frequencies are clashing and you can cut and adjust according to however you want that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a quick, easy to use guide on EQ in Cubase. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, to like and subscribe to the channel.